Hey guys, I'm back. In this video, I wanted to talk about your final paper a little bit. Now, in the second week of classes, I have asked you to tell me what you're going to do your final paper over. If you change your mind after that point, it's fine. I mostly just want you to think about what you're going to do and just put some thought into getting started on that. Alright, so right now, what you can see on my screen, I'm in the Lessons tab, and I'm clicking into the final paper. Um, first thing I'm going to pull up here is the details on the final paper. Now, you're probably not going to be able to read this on my screen because it's a little small and I'm a little wobbly apparently. But this details page does give you an idea of what I'm going to be looking for on the final paper. A few things I want to point out to you. It needs to be in a report form with complete sentences and paragraphs. I do not want a numbered list or a bulleted list. This actually needs to read like a paper. I don't care how you format it. I don't care if you have a title page or anything other than please put your name on it. Um, so formatting is not important other than the things that are listed here. I don't want it to be more than three pages single spaced. If you have more to say than three pages single spaced, it's too long. All right, design and experiment. The important thing to keep in mind here is that you need 30 pieces of numerical data. It's not random. When you get to the later parts of the paper, you're going to need 30 numbers to deal with to do some of the testing. So, 30 pieces of numerical data. It doesn't really matter what you do the paper over. It can be anything. Um, try to make it something that's interesting to you because it'll make the paper more interesting for you to write and for me to read. So one thing that uh, has been done over and over and over and just makes for a good example is I have students buy 30 bags of M&Ms and they count however many are in each bag of a certain color. So um, this has been done so many times. Um, it's just kind of gives you an idea of one way to approach it because that does give you 30 pieces of numerical data. So you can read on that section what you're going to need to make sure is in the paper. Uh, down at the bottom are things I've added over the years. Um, very important, don't try to make it too complicated. I'm not grading you on how complicated you can make it or how important the uh, question you're researching is. All I'm wanting on this paper is for you to show me that you understand the concepts in the course and you can apply them. That's it. Alright, um, another thing I want to go back to, um, another thing I've added is the checklist for the final paper. What you are seeing here is what I grade by. These are the things I'm looking for when I grade your paper. Um, and then on the bottom, things that uh, will lose points. So um, I'm not trying to be tricky or anything here. I want you to see exactly what I'm looking for. Finally, uh, there's a document talking about plagiarism. Plagiarism is using someone else's data or research or words or images as your own. Um, a paper that plagiarizes will um, receive a zero and a zero on the final paper will hurt your grade in the course. It's important to read the plagiarism document all the way through. Make sure that you understand what plagiarism is. If you have any questions at all, be sure and ask me. Um, I'm going to assume that nobody wants to plagiarize when they're doing their final paper. And um, so if you're unsure about something, just ask me before you turn it in, and I'll be glad to help you out. All right, I hope that is helpful. If you have any questions on your final paper, let me know. Y'all take care. Bye.